Hey everyone, so welcome to the second part of the ClickUp video series here. In the first part, we used the ClickUp API to create our data here, where we get the task name and then the tag associated with the task. And in this video, we're going to use AutoML to create our ML.NET model, where we give it a task name and it gives us a tag prediction. Great. So I'm going to create a new project. Be another console app. I'll do click up auto ml for the project name. All right, so we know we're going to use ml.net here, so we'll go ahead and get those packages. So we first need Microsoft.ml version 1.5 here. Since we're going to be using auto ml, well, we'll get that package as well. All right, so first let's get our CSV path here. It's going to be the same thing that we kind of did earlier. Using path I combine environment that get folder path environment dot special folder my documents and then it is task that CSV. Next we'll create our context. Remote context. And next we can load our data here using context data load from file and we need to create a task input schema class and let's go ahead and do that all right so first it's going to be the string task name the next is going to be the string of the tag and then we're going to do load column it'll be the first column here and then the second column Got that added and we'll pass in the CSV path has header is true and separator character is a comma. And we're using auto ML so we can set some settings here. And this type of problem is going to be a multi-class problem because there are multiple tag names that it can choose from. So we'll do new multi-class experiment settings and I'll just set the max timeout seconds is uh, 300 so that'll be five minutes for it to go through and I'll set the optimizing metric to be log loss so next we create our experiment do context.auto and then generate or create multi-class classification experiment and we'll pass in those settings to it. Next we'll get the result experiment that executes pass in our data and a new column information because we want to tell the label column name is going to be tag instead of the default of label and I'll go ahead and do the best model here by getting the result that let's see best run dot model and with that uh, let's go ahead and do some predictions in here doing prediction engine with a context dot model create prediction engine we have that task input and we can create a task output class and send in that best model Let's create this. We're creating this prediction engine so we can uh, kind of do some, do a quick prediction, make sure it looks okay. All right, so in here we we'll do a string of predicted label. Uh, we could rename this to predicted tag and then put label and put column name predicted label here. And then we do a float array of score. Oh. There we go. So we got a prediction engine. We can create a prediction for our test here. Prediction engine that predicts new task input. And we we'll say the task name 
will be let's say intro to ml.net is our test and we can write out to the console predicted tag is prediction dot predicted tag and let's run this make sure everything is okay we need to set this as the startup project otherwise it was still on our data project and it would run that instead it's going to take remember we set this as 300 seconds which is five minutes so it's going to go run for at least that long so we'll wait for that to complete all right so this got completed and we see we got our predicted tag as ml.net so i think this is pretty good and so the last thing we need to do here is that in order for for us to use this model later on we need to save it so we can do that by using context.model.save and I'm using that best model give it the data that schema for the input schema and then I'll just save that in the current directory call it clickup model that's it alright so I'm gonna run this again but that's okay it's only five minutes now while this, this is running uh, five minutes is okay for this model now it's a very simple model and if you look at my tasks here the way I name my my tasks and eventually my my YouTube videos I pretty much put the tag name in the the name itself so it's, it's gonna be a, a simple model if you have something bigger than that then you probably want to use something like a run it for 30 minutes or an hour or so all right, so this completed again, and let's double check that our model saved. So go into our debug here, and there it is. Click up model. Zip, and there we go. Now we have our ML.NET model, where we can predict our tags based on our task name. So in the next video, uh, we're going to create a ClickUp webhook, where it get that gets called every time we create a task. So once we create a task, it calls that webhook, then it'll run this model and it'll automatically apply a tag that gets predicted from the model. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.